this. Very important difference between um, hybrid and open pollinated, and the same goes to here. We will put them in the plot. This is because the nursery, it's like a hospital for small babies, okay? We have to have it function all the time. How we start with the seed, okay? Basically, we start with the tray, okay? We have the media. Um, I welcome you all to just come and fill, okay? So this is all um, soil media, okay? So this is just very uh, compost media, please feel free. Okay. Touch. okay? Yeah? It comes more dry, but the first thing we do is put the seeds is we open the media, okay? We put Kidogo Maji with the ratio that we know. We don't want to put too much because you remember we said that the seeds, they don't want the soil to, com to be completely soaked, mm -hmm. but, but we still need to put a bit of Maji inside. This is a little bit of dry. I would put a little bit more, okay? No, this is only um, plant compost, okay? Now this is coming, basically, just for information, this coming from Europe. Um, so apart from the soil media, we are also putting vermiculite. Okay, vermiculite, this is, oh, okay, again, also you can. Okay, so this is just like small rocks, and these rocks had been treated by in a, with a lot of heat and pressure, okay? And then they got expanded, okay? So if you look at them close, okay, you see it's like um, small thin layers on layers on layers on layers on layers, okay? And in between those layers will come the water, okay? So this vermiculite is very good to aerate the media, but also to hold water, okay? So we put like um, three parts of this. The ratio is not really important right now. But we put the majority of this, we put it with a little bit of the vermiculite so it will hold better, so it will hold more water and there is to be more aerated. Okay, the roots, they, not, they don't need to have only water and nutrients, they need to have air. Okay, roots like us, they breathe oxygen. Okay, so this also helps to create the aeration. So basically after mixing, we're putting it inside. Um, put inside. Okay, so I'm just putting it, putting it inside. Now, this, if you do it in your own place, okay, don't put the soil all the way. Don't do it too compact, okay? Because if you put it, if you do it like this, and then you put Maji, there is no air inside, okay? There is no holes, and it's going to be very hard for the plant to germinate, okay? is not even growing up here it's very small he's taking the roots and we will see now when we go to the inside taking his head like this okay this is what is happening and if here there is a lot of water and a lot of soil and it's heavy so this will take a lot of time mm. yeah and then if it takes long time it just it has more time to be affected also um, like with negative effects Okay, so basically we just put, like, this is a very good, um, okay, like method to compact it a little bit, but not too much. Okay, we do a small hole, we put the seed, like a thumb rule, very easy rule to remember. If you ask yourself how much deep I need, do I need to do it like this or I need to do it like this, okay? Yeah, so how I know? So for me, this is going to be too little, yeah? But for a um, carrot, it might be too deep. Yeah, because the carrot is very small. So basically, you can just look at the size of the seed, multiply it by three to four, and this will give you a good estimation about <coughs> how deep it should be going inside, okay? After putting the seeds, we put the vermiculite, sour, maji, and then we put it in incubation, 
Okay. We're putting our uh, uh, shoes in this one, okay, for Jiki, because we don't want to put, we don't want to bring anything from the outside. To work with, first of all, hybrid seed, okay, that we can uh, plan on and we can um, anticipate, okay. And we are also going to talk here about how we are treating the seed. Okay, like we need to give him the best condition and what is a ready transplant, a ready seedling and what is not, okay? So after sowing the seedling in the, in the operational room, Sawa, in the future we are going to put everything, you see the black room over there? Okay, so right now it's not ready, it's very hot inside, so we don't put the seeds over there, but soon after sowing, after covering with vermiculit and water, we're going to put it in the dark room. Okay, seeds, like in nature, they germinate underground. Means they don't want light, okay? They need the lack of light in order to germinate properly, and in order to germinate in a much more uniform way. So after um, having them in the incubation room, we leave them for sometimes three, four, depends on the crop, for example, Pili Pili, it can take like almost a week. Okay, so what we do, one thing that is very important to look for when we do the incubation, we don't want to keep the seeds inside the dark room too much. Okay, because what will happen is that they will be too long, they will elongate, because see, plants, they look for the light. And if plants, they don't, uh, have enough light they try to climb okay like you see in jungles the, the plants that are um, climbing on other trees okay so we need to look that we are not putting the seed too much time in the incubation room in the black room and this we do by just taking the soil a little bit okay and so this seed haven't hasn't started germinating yet okay so this basically this can be still be in the soil in the incubation room but what I look for is the bending that I just told you about the seed up at this one okay yeah you see this bending okay so this if like I need a, even two days before I would put it uh, outside of the incubation room okay so I'm just looking for the root development Opa, perfect okay and you see this one now is starting to bend to leave his stem okay and if it's very heavy in water it's going to be hard for you okay so we need to know the right amount of water okay nursery it's a work we need to be very minded okay we need to put a lot of attention on the details so everything very very small after germination we take them out okay and now we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between the op in the hybrid okay but not just theoretical difference but practical difference and why it's not why it's very hard to work with the OPs okay so please you can now join this okay open pollinated it's a local variety of pili pili first of all first thing you can see germination rates right very low this is a good tray it has 60 percent okay you have some over here it has it at 10 percent Okay. And this is not even the worst problem. The worst problem is that now this tray, okay, or this tray, this plant, I need to start putting fertilizer, okay, because if I'm not putting fertilizer, I will have deficiency. But for this plant, if I'm going to put fertilizer, I'm going to burn. So I have no idea what to do with this tray. Right? This tray, it's a metaphor for the whole season. Because if I'm going to start the, my season with this plant, I will have one bed on harvesting, one plant is still needs to be stacked, one is full of chemical, one is small, one is big, one needs more fertilizer, one needs less. Even if the season is good, I don't want to work like this, okay? Because we, even if one season is good, we don't know if this next season will be the same. And for us, for farmers, first of all, and I hope that this is uh, true for all, but a farmer is first of all a businessman. Yeah, and if a farmer is not making money, he's not going to farm in the next season, 
right? So first of all, you need to know business. You need to have any like a financial planning. And when we work with this kind of seeds, we cannot do any planning, nothing. Sawa, only 80% of his seeds, he can sue me. Okay? The same. If the, the farmer, he gives me the seed bag. Yes. On the seed bag, it says the germination rate. Mm. If I'm giving him less seeds mm. than the germination rate, I need to compensate the farmer. But over there, I can give the farmer a tray with five seedlings and... Nobody will sue you. Yeah. No, no guarantees. Yeah. So this is a very, very important difference between um, hybrid and open pollinated. And the same goes to here. We will put them in the plot. All of them, they will be the same level all the time. They will be very uniform. Imara, I can call the guy from Sidco. I ask him, tell me the Imara tomato. What is the yield? He can tell me the numbers. And then I can start thinking if I want to grow this or not. Now I don't have, we don't have in a farm uh, in the shop. Ah, actually we do have. The roots is the same. This roots is not good. Okay. You see the roots are full. Okay, which means that maybe this seedling actually looks healthy, strong, you know. But but actually this roots is too developed. Okay, it start to be like on top of another. They are suffocating one of another. Okay, this is all. Very little soil, a lot of roots. Okay, so this was needed to go to the ground like three weeks ago. Okay, those one next week. Okay. Ili kupata mafunzo zaidi, usisahau usubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kenge. Pia usiache ku like, ku comment na ku share. Ndihi.